Welcome back. It's a beautiful Sunday in Utah, and Kara and I thought, what better way to spend the day than doing a tow test on this 2023 GMC 1500 AT4 with the 6.2 liter gas engine. And what we're gonna be towing is our new enclosed trailer. This is a 16 foot Hallmark ALX. We're gonna be loading it with a four seat Ranger with the snowplow on it. I understand that this truck can haul a lot more than that enclosed trailer, but I think this will give us a good idea of how it does performing on kind of a standard load that most people will be towing with a half ton truck similar to this. All right, so the tow numbers for this truck. Uh, conventional towing is 9,000 pounds. This isn't gonna be anywhere near 9,000 pounds, but it'll give us a pretty good idea. So gross vehicle weight rating is 7,100. Gross combined weight rating, 15,000. Curb weight is 5,589. And max payload is 1511. To make this as official as possible, we've already went and weighed the truck. I weighed it a few days ago with just me in it, and it was 5,840 pounds. Now we're gonna get hooked on, see how it does, see how much it weighs, what the miles per gallon are, all those sort of things. First thing we're doing before we weigh is we're gonna get this all the way full of fuel. That way we have it as maxed out as we can get it right now. Do you have a tractor number or is it personal? Personal. Okay, you're good to come inside. All right, thank you. All right, let's go see what we actually end up with. All right, got the weights. Now I have to do some math. <laughs> I think it might be heavier than I thought it was going to be. Also, got some good licorice. So our original way with just me in the truck was 5840. Now we are gross 11,300. So the trailer with the side-by-side -side in it is 5,460 pounds, which is just a perfect load for a truck like this. It's not maxing it out or anything, especially since we don't have an equalizer hitch on it. Don't want to max out without an equalizer. Uh, looking at how much payload it is putting on, the steering axle actually lightened by 40 pounds with all this on. So, which it happens, you know, as you put weight on the back end. The drive axle was 2440 and now it's 2960. So that's putting on 400-ish pounds. The tongue weight on this trailer with the side-by-side -side in it is about 520 pounds. So everything should be pretty good, I think. The one thing with side-by-sides is they have so much weight on the rear end of them. So it's not putting a lot up on the front end, even with that plow, still not putting a whole bunch of weight up front. I love this whole startup system here. <laughs> Went through and reset our trip odometer. So that way we can figure out our gas mileage as well. Interested to see how this new 6.2 liter uh, V8 will do while towing. It did jump up to freeway speed. Now the freeway speed right here is 75, but I'm only doing 70 because I really don't like towing at 75. So we'll just stay here at 70 and see how it does. As we're cruising down the freeway here, one thing I'd like to point out is just how quiet this truck is. I, I always think our truck's pretty quiet, but you can always hear that diesel kind of churning away. This is really quiet. There is a little bit of road noise from the all-terrain tires, but not bad. Do you think, Kara? No, I mean, we've just been riding without radio and everything, and it's just been really quiet. Yeah, just I mean, smooth. you are getting a tiny bit from the tires, yeah, but it's relatively quiet. Coming along the freeway, we did have some side wind. Oh, potholes. <laughs> Coming along the freeway, there was uh, some side wind, and I did feel a little bit of wiggle. Not, not much, but a little bit of wiggle. And one thing you do notice is just the softer suspension going over bumps. You do get a little bit more um, of the trailer pushing down on the suspension than we would have got out of our one ton. Like I was saying, when you hit the blinker, it changes the screen. So if I hit the blinker there, it'll show clear down the side right here, which is more vision than I have through my side view mirror. So that's really nice to have. Down those side view, I, I really wish I had towing mirrors, but. I don't even know if you can get these with the towing mirror set up on the half ton. Just 
still holding the speed pretty good right up through here. Just climbing away. It did downshift and I'm pulling about 2,900 RPM, but don't have to rev it very much at all to hold right here in this gear. Not a lot of back shifting going on. I know a lot of people worry with the 10 speed that it shifts so much, but this has found its spot and I, I really like the 10 speeds because it does give you that ability to find that gear that may have just been between gears in, you know, with your old six speed or four speed or whatever. This section we're coming through now is known as the Red Narrows. It'll be interesting to see how the truck does uh, maintaining speed and then re-accelerating as we come around some of these tighter turns. On the way down, we'll check if it, if the trailer starts to push in these corners at all. But as we come up through here, not having to downshift, I uh, had to kind of just throttle up and down a little bit more just to maintain speed. But I've been able to hold the same speed all the way so far up the canyon. Just climbing the final hill now on our way up to the top of Soldier Summit. Then we will be turning around and seeing how it does on the descent. So far, been doing really well. Been holding 65 miles per hour the whole way up. Right now I'm pulling about 3,500 RPMs climbing up here, but running really well. Driving this gas engine is just a little bit different than driving our diesel. And when you're towing and those sort of things, just that little bit of difference takes a little bit of adjustment. But overall, whoa, rough section of road there. Overall, rides really nice and is really controllable. And you can feel that it has plenty of power. It could tow a lot more of a load up this. Here we are up at Soldier Summit. We're just about to turn around. There is a bunch of snow. Holy crap, look at all this. We've been having a really good year here in Utah, snow-wise. And this is our first time being up on here this winter. It's been a while since we've seen this much snow. Now that we're at the halfway point, I thought I'd check my gauges and see where we're at. Let's see here, let's go this way. So for this trip, we went 50.9 miles so far and we are eight and a half miles per gallon. I was kind of hoping to see a little bit better than that, but take what you can get, right? Being able to tow uphill at speed is all well and good, but even more important is how the truck handles on the downhill. So I'm really interested to see how this does holding itself back in tow haul mode, all those sort of things as we descend back down the canyon. One thing we do see a lot of as we drive through these mountain canyons and things like that is there's a lot of people towing that they just, when they get a straightaway, they go so dang fast. But then as they come up those corners, you see them just locking up their brakes and really getting themselves into a tight situation. As we drop down the canyon here, we just like to try to hold the same constant speed so that way we aren't on and off the brake so much and on and off the throttle. And just let the truck kind of hold itself back at, at a good pace. You don't want to be that guy going too slow down the canyon, but also you don't want to be that guy passing everybody and then as soon as the next corner comes up, you know, nearly causing an accident or worse. Comment below, do you tow with a half ton and what are your towing experiences? What what half ton do you use? This truck so far has been really nice, which all the new trucks are <laughs> really nice when it comes right down to it. Whether it's a Ford or a Ram or a GM product, all these new trucks tow so nice. They have so much more power than they used to. It's just kind of incredible. Just made it down off of the steeper part and truck's holding back really, really well. Had to use the brakes one time because somebody was pulling off to the rest stop. But other than that, just using the throttle and the transmissions holding itself back really well as we descend down off Soldier Summit. I am kind of surprised how much I can feel it when a semi truck passes going the other way when we're on like a two lane section. That wind gust, I, I can feel that with the truck. As it just, when that wind hits the trailer and the truck, you can kind of feel it wiggly a little bit. Coming 
down the final few corners into the valley and the truck did really really good coming down the canyon barely had to use the brakes at all uh, transmission held back great it didn't push in the corners very much which was really nice because sometimes with these lighter trucks and uh, with the trailer on you get a little bit of push uh, it is a little bit windy, so I'm feeling it that way. It's not one of those situations where I can say, oh, I didn't even know it was tied on behind me, because obviously you can feel the trailers there, but it's not uh, its not moving the truck around. It's not controlling the truck. The, still, the truck can still control the trailer, which is really nice. Now we'll just jump back on the freeway and go back to the gas station, refill, and see how we did on our gas mileage. Made it back to the gas station. Time to see how much the damage is on that. If I'm looking just at my uh, computer here, it says 102 miles and 9.5 miles per gallon. I was hoping for a little bit better than that, but you know, is what it is when you're towing, so. Now let's just see if it adds up to be the same from the pump. 10.6. 7.5. Says we went through 10.6 gallons and 102 miles, 9.6. <laughs> Same as the, the computer had said, so at least we know the computer's pretty accurate. I uh, was hoping for probably 10 or more, but is what it is when you're towing. Back. Overall, super happy with how this truck tows. I know that this trailer doesn't max it out at it or anywhere close to it. But since we're not using an equalizer hitch, those sort of things, you know, a 5,000 plus pound trailer is just about right for a half ton truck. And this is what most people will tow with their half ton trucks is something in this area. Comment down below. Do you tow with a half ton truck? What do you think of this truck? Those sort of things. And as always, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff and enjoy your weekend. <laughs>